we need to learn what happened, make corrective action, but somebody's got to be fired. Nothing's going to change until somebody loses their job. Today, the acting head of the Secret Service faced questions from U.S. senators about the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump at his Butler County rally. Ronald Rowe repeatedly called it a failure on multiple levels and repeatedly pointed the finger at local law enforcement, saying it was their responsibility to secure the roof the shooter fired from. I could not and I will not and I cannot understand why there was not better coverage or at least somebody looking at that roof line when that's where they were posted. Why was the assailant not seen? When we were told that building was going to be covered, we assumed that the state and locals had it. And I can assure you that we're not going to make that mistake again. Those strong words from today's hearing not sitting well with some of the local law enforcement who lead some of the people who were working the rally that day. KDKA's Jennifer Barrasso joins us right now live with their reaction to what was said on Capitol Hill. Good evening, Jen. Good evening. So I talked to the Beaver County DA and the head of Beaver ESU or SWAT and both disagree about what was said on Capitol Hill today. I cannot reiterate more how proud we are of the actions of our guys that day. Um, and there's no question in my opinion that, that their quick thinking and quick action save lives. So yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of blame shifting on, you know, uh, maybe some missteps uh, on other agencies, but you know, again, our guys have did did everything that they were asked and went above and beyond what they were asked on that day. Beaver County Chief Detective Pat Young says three snipers, two from Beaver County, one had to leave at 4 p.m. for his job, and one from Butler ESU were sitting about three feet back from windows inside the AGR building on the second floor. Because they're positioned inside, he says none had a clear view of the roof Thomas Crooks climbed onto. They were advised that they were to occupy the corner, the far right corner of the building, if you are looking at the stage. So on the complete opposite end of where Crooks was. We were able to have direct communications with Butler ESU the entire time uh, vehicle, uh, via tactical frequency. Okay, and did you know that they had been communicating with Secret Service? I, I don't know that for sure because I wasn't in their command post. Were they on the roof? No, and I, I've heard that comment on multiple occasions uh, via the internet. Text messages between local snipers show they noticed crooks at 426 p.m., nearly two hours before the attempted assassination against former President Donald Trump. Young says by 514, Beaver ESU team member Greg Nichols snapped these pictures of crooks below the building. At 541, he says Nichol called to command about a range finder. Sources tell KDKA that an officer witnessed crooks moving rapidly between buildings at the AGR complex between 602 and 603. And my source says that information was immediately radioed to the county command post, then immediately relayed to the Secret Service. The video tracks the next panic minutes as police search for crooks. At, six, at 606, Young says, Nickel left the second story and went downstairs to alert police outside. Where were the two snipers inside the AGR building when Thomas Crooks was on that roof? I interviewed multiple people who say between two to three minutes, uh, they could see Crooks on the roof. Where were the two snipers inside that AGR building when he was shooting? So the one butler would have been in on the second level, far right side, looking directly at the crowd, covering those sectors that they were assigned. And then Greg Nickel would have been actively searching out crooks to where he went, going to the first floor. I asked Pat Young if Greg Nickel alerted the command post that he was leaving his post going downstairs, and Young said no, he thinks that was Nickel's street cop kicking in. Reporting live in Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.